Indian historiography various ideological frameworks. Colonial historiography. The early scholars who studied and wrote Indian history were mainly British officers and Christian missionaries. Their prejudice is clearly reflected in the way some of them have ridiculed Indian culture. Their writings were used to justify the colonial British rule. The five volumes of Cambridge History of India published during 1922 to 1937 CE are distinct examples of colonial historiography. Orientalist Historiography Many European scholars felt curious about civilizations and countries of the East. Some of those scholars felt admiration and respect for them. These scholars were known as Orientalists. The Orientalists studied the similarities between Sanskrit and some of the European languages. They focused more on Vedic tradition and Sanskrit literature. Their studies resulted in formulating the notion of an ancient language that could be the mother of all Indo-European languages. In 1784, Sir William Jones founded Asiatic Society in Kolkata. It opened the doors for research in ancient Indian literature and history. Among the Orientalist scholars, Frederick Max Müller deserves a special mention. In his opinion, Sanskrit was the most ancient language of the Indo-European languages. He first translated the Sanskrit text of Hitopadesh. It was of 50 volumes of The Sacred, The East. He translated Rig Veda in German. Lately, Edward said, a scholar who has re-evaluated the Orientalist writings, has thrown light on imperialistic interests of Orientalist scholars. Nationalistic Historiography The writings of Indian historians who were trained in the British educational system show an inclination to restore the pride in the ancient glory of India and the self-esteem of the Indian readers. Their writings are known as nationalistic historiography. Nationalistic writings in Maharashtra were inspired by Vishnu Shastri Chipranukar. The nationalistic historians tried to seek the golden era of Indian history. They are at times blamed for ignoring the critical analysis of the historical truth. Mahadev Govind Ranade, Ramkrishna Gopal Bhandarkar, Vinayak Damodar Savarkar, Rajendra Lal Mishra, Ramesh Chandra Majumdar, Kashi Prasad Jaiswal, Radha Kumud Mukherjee, Bhagwan Lal Indraji, Vasudev Vishnu Mirashi and Anant Sadashiv Altekar are the names of some renowned scholars among the nationalistic historians. Rajwade is well known for his writings in Marathi on varied subjects like history, linguistics, etymology, grammar, etc. He was of the firm opinion that we should write our own history. He compiled and edited 22 volumes of Marathayancha Itihasachi Sadhane. He wrote very scholarly prefaces to each of the 22 volumes. He stated, History is the all-inclusive image of the past societies. It does not include only the stories of political images, conspiracies and wars for seizing power. He insisted that history should be written only using the authentic documentary source. The nationalistic historiography helped in the triggering of the independence movement of the Indian people against the British. In this aspect, the book The Indian War of Independence, 1857, written by Vinayak Damodar Savarkar, is of great importance.